guys, this is Maria. Welcome to Beautiful Parenthood. Today's video is on toddler activities. If you're new to my channel, I post these videos about once a month. I have two children, one and three year old, and I don't do screen time at home, so i always looking for new crafts, new ideas, new toys. I love open-ended toys, Montessori approach in parenting. So if you are new and you love what you see, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. So today's video, guys, is in partnership with this really cool product from Bacco. It's a magnetic jigsaw puzzle for toddlers, and I will send this product for review. And let me tell you, not every single product that I have, I get makes it to my videos because I'm pretty critical. And also, not every single person I respond to. So if it made it here, I actually loved it. So what the product actually is, it's this board that's a one side is chalk one is dry erase marker board and it also comes with a set of chalks a dry erase marker a sponge and 175 magnets there's a lot of magnets so i actually removed some of them because i've been taking this on the go and from the moment we received it my children loved it as soon as we got it out of the box both of them were glued to it and mm -hmm. another thing i totally love about it it's portable you know, it comes with this little strap and you can take it on the go. So it's summertime. So my son does my gym and my daughter is a tag along and I have to entertain her for almost an hour sitting there. So I've been taking this with me and I also had to get my passport done. So she sat at the clap of court for 25 minutes and disturbed doing her magnets, raising it, drawing with it. So it's a great product. And on top of it, I also have a code for you guys. It's for the first three days after I publish this video, it's 30%, and then for the next two weeks after I publish this video, it's 15%. All the details are below. Make sure to check it. And I actually, I do really recommend this. It's a great product. We've been loving it. So while I'm on the topic of great things to have on the go with your children, I want to share with you this. Uh, this is water painting, and I've shared with you the ones that you have uh, like paint in the paper this actually has uh, no paint whatsoever it comes with this little uh, cartridge here and you just fill it with water and this paper becomes somewhat transparent once you start using it and it just you know turns I actually love this side a lot because it's flip you can flip through it but on the screen you can also see the other one that I bought for uh, Scarlett both of the items are from Melissa and Doug and I will uh, if I can't find the exact ones, I will share the link to the most uh, you know close ones to it Another thing I always have in my entertainment on the go bag that I actually have in my car is the stamps. I actually can't believe that I haven't shared those yet because we've been loving stamps. I mean, for like a year and a half now, but somehow it never made it to my videos. But I have several sets and I just put them in a Ziploc baggie and I also uh, purchased a separate pad with ink and we it's just so great on the go as well. It's not messy i mean everything can be messy with the toddlers you know that but just love uh stamps and wherever your child is into there's dinosaurs there's farm animals there's princess stuff now on to puzzles i love all kinds of creative puzzles and these are from happy they are also in cooperation with george luck and what i love about them is it actually challenges your child into understanding the um shapes i've showed you my melissa and doug puzzles in previous videos where you have to figure out you know circles triangles and all that stuff so this one actually takes it up a notch because all the shapes are different so your child will have to process quite a bit and for my daughter i just personally first showed her the steps on how to do it at first we did the cat's hat then we did the paws then we did the tail and then she had two other pieces she needed to fit in so we actually really loved it and i think it's a great gift as well and they have like a ginormous collection wherever your child loves you can find it in there so we definitely love those puzzles those who watched my previous video on what i buy at the dollar store for kids crafts probably are waiting for this section so i will share with you the project that i've done with some of the items that i've bought from there so the first one i feel like is the most fun one is actually the uh tissue paper art the idea behind is to create a sun catcher so all you do you use a, a parchment paper then you need some uh, pre-cut pieces of tissue. I actually incorporated my daughter because you know cutting is a great activity for the toddlers to develop the strength of their hand. And it's amazing to see how much she had progressed from you know my first cutting videos where I actually had to hold her wrist. Now she is holding her wrist. She uses her helping hand, so it's, it's really great. Then uh, you also need some glue and water. And all you do, you just uh, 
put in there. There is multiple ideas on Pinterest. If you want to check it out, you can just put tissue paper, sun catcher, and there will be a multiple things there is also tampons you can download we kind of just went with the floor and made flowers and it just turned out so beautiful and then take it from here and let your fantasy fly like do whatever you think will be great tissue paper i bought from a dollar store as i mentioned one dollar another thing i shared in that video were the clothespins and uh what we did from them uh that activity is working on your child's pinch graph and there's lots of activities with clothespins you can see on youtube and everywhere we did suns so we cut out the shape of a circle and then we just put the clothespins for whatever reason my daughter totally loved it she is loving like doing all this with pinch group maybe because i've been doing it with her for so long so she totally loves it and we've done three sons she had a son for me for baby justin for her and another thing that i've also bought back then at the dollar store was the buck catcher and the buck habitat let me tell you this has been so so awesome my daughter always been interested in bugs ever since she was about like close to two and though i never liked bugs i've always kind of like filled into her like about nature learn about it we bought books on bugs we bought bugs figurines so uh now with in 15 minutes that we spent outdoors which is also great you can take your child to the park to your backyard and then uh we caught butterfly we caught a wasp we caught a moth and then we let it all go except for the wasp because those things are dangerous and scary but it also a great opportunity for you to teach your child is all right well we looked at it now we have to let it go and she enjoyed letting go the animals and say go be free it's like the sweetest cutest thing another super fun uh, thing that i purchased at the dollar store were the squirt bottles and let me tell you squirt bottles if you have a three-year-old is a must not only it's a must because you can make them clean your windows but they can clean your driveway it will sure to entertain them for a while because nothing is cooler than sport and water so it's super cheap very affordable fun and you can make it educational as well so i highly recommend one more item that is sure to uh keep your three-year-old in use for a while is a magnifying glass Oh my gosh, things you can do with a magnifying glass. You can look at the coral, you can collect leaves, you can look at the bugs. You can look at jewelry, wherever your child loves, you can look at it through magnifying glass. And then you can show them also under the supervision uh, if you wanna make smoke or whatever it is, just catch some bunnies. Okay, magnifying glass is a great, great item to have to entertain your little curious minds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There will be more coming of this kind. My daughter is going back to school, so I will be sharing with you ideas from her school as well. For those who don't know, she goes to Montessori school. I also told you that I will be doing question and answer and I'm collecting the questions. I wanna make a cohesive video. So I'm trying to get like several questions on each topic so I can answer them together. So that's coming soon. Um, again, if you're new and you love what you see, please make sure to subscribe. I would love for you to stick around, click notifications button, and I will see you soon. I post twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday.